I've been a cook my whole life, meaning I love to cook and it's how I give back. But because I'm an amputee and I am wearing a prosthesis every day, I found ways to adapt with the tech that exists. But as far as creating and building something new, you know, there's not that many people doing that. I've traveled uh, as a personal chef for 12 years. And um, more recently, I guess I've become an amputee and a bionic chef, meaning that I'm working with sort of my prosthetic limbs and technology to get back into my career of choice. When I lost my limb, there was a lot of unknown getting back into the kitchen for me, but I did. I jumped in, I got back in and realized strengths and weaknesses. Food is so sensual. You have to be like firm but soft at the same time. And that's really hard to do with a titanium hook that's body powered. A part of me may always want to just have this wearable tech in a mechanical state until it's developed to a whole new place. But if I was gonna dream something up, it would be a non-harnessed, self-fastening prosthetic that has total sensitivity of touch, total temperature sensitivity. You can't feel if you're dropping something. You can't feel if you're you know, squeezing the pulp out of a tomato when all you want to do is just delicately hold it and put it somewhere. I think there's a lot of practical application that you could put in that doesn't exist. When I use this, I have to flex my whole upper body, whereas when we move our hands, you, you do nothing except think about it. It's the tech side, not the mechanical makeup side of the tool that I'm interested in. I have a very uh, holistic, utilitarian approach to wearable tech. If it doesn't suit my immediate needs, if I can't run, drum, cook, rock and roll with it, I won't use or wear it. This is a non-digital piece of wearable tech for me. It's um, sort of pulley and tension driven. I can tighten it and I can loosen it. It's almost like having a work belt on. It just allows me to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm inspired and really blown away by what is available to amputees. The wearable tech industry has been kicking out the myoelectric hands. Myoelectric is a description of a type of prosthesis that works off your muscle impulses to a motherboard or a sensor or software that then controls whatever the attachment is. You can control 25 different functions. You can control it with your iPhone through Bluetooth. There's so much you can do with this hand. What I'm doing is I'm just firing those muscles now. I'm opening with good control. It'll open and close slowly. Whereas if I really want to close it, I'll just flex harder. It's hard. In their progression from the first phase of my electric hands to where they're at now, they've made a lot of leaps and bounds, but they're still very susceptible to climate. If you're out skiing, the battery's gonna die in a heartbeat. Waterproof, as a chef, I'm in and out of the water all day long. And one drop into any of those microprocessors has the ability to short circuit and damage that hand I mean, as a chef, you want to find that place, that flow state where you're dancing, where you're moving with it. The biggest thing for me is developing the tech so that it's faster, stronger, and the sensitivity. The ability to, while working here and multitasking, you can feel what's going on. This sort of thick red broth is pureed red chilies. You can do it with pork, beef, chicken. It's pozole. But we're all creatures of attraction, meaning whatever's new, whatever's kind of peeking around the corner, you're going to want to check it out and um, get involved or have a taste. In the wearable tech industry, you have more of an interest in not because I need it, but I kind of want to have something like this going on so I don't burn myself and I can smash crab claws with my forearm. And People want to be wearing more devices, clothing, tech, fashion that allows them to up the ante. So if you want to bring wearable tech in because it adds to what you give back, it adds to who you bring to the equation every day, why not? <laughs>